Welcome to this little video. I've recently completed the construction of a 60 cubic meter model hot air balloon. Uh, so this video will take us through the steps of that construction process. I've shown videos in the past showing the cutting process, which you can see taking place here. I've never really delved into the detail of the sewing process. So this video will take a closer look at that side of the construction. As you can see, I've included a parts counter in the bottom corner of the video so that we can keep track of just how many components there are within this balloon. So the first job is to cut the material into the right shapes. I've got my own patterns and I've designed the balloon so that it has as many straight lines as possible. This makes the assembly of the balloon a lot easier on the sewing machine. Because of the level of uh, sewing proficiency that I have, I tend to construct my balloons with straight lines. So I've chosen three main colours to be the feature colours of this balloon, yellow, dark blue and white, and then I've thrown in a little bit of rainbow colours as well. So here we can see the details of these diagonal components that will, for this balloon, create up arrows and down arrows in these kind of kite formations. This balloon is a 60 cubic meter envelope. It's not the first one that I've built, but it is the first one that I've built with these unusual triangles. These can be positioned differently across the same horizontal position on the balloon to create triangles, arrows, kite shapes, zigzags, and give me lots of different options for the future. These feature panels will be positioned just below the equator so that they're nice and easy to see when looking up at the balloon. I don't want to position them too high on the balloon where they'll be lost in the curvature of the upper half of the balloon. Here we can see the simple seam construction. The two outside surfaces of the envelope are laid facing each other and then I simply single needle along. One of the questions I get asked the most is what do I use as thread? I simply order uh, some basic cotton from the internet. Uh, here's an image of that. And in terms of the sewing machine, this is just a basic domestic single needle sewing machine. This varies considerably from the construction of a man carrying balloon, which uses a twin needle sewing machine and industrial threads. So this balloon is built from 20 vertical sections. Each of those vertical sections is split into horizontal sections. So we call the vertical sections a gore, and then each of the horizontal sections within that is a panel. So I begin by assembling each of the panels to the one above it or below it until I've got the lower half of a gore assembled and the upper half of a gore assembled. These are about 12 feet tall and so I hang nicely over the interior doors in my house. Once I'm ready, I will join them at the equator position and take them outside for a little inspection. Once the gore has been completed, the next job is to attach it to the adjacent gore. This is done by running down the length of the vertical seam. It's important at this stage to ensure that you match each of the horizontal components at the seam so that we don't get any steps in the colour scheme. The best way to ensure this is to be accurate with your seam dimension when constructing the horizontal panels to each other. As I attach each core to the next one down the vertical seam, I just double check my colour scheme, making sure that I've got it in the right order. After all, on picking 20 odd feet of seam is not something that I enjoy doing. So here we have a pair of gauze with all the panels assembled laid out in my back garden. Once the gauze are in pairs, they can then be attached to another pair, etc, etc, until the balloon is effectively a single sheet of material. The balloon is now large and difficult to handle. 
and so closing up the top of the balloon can be tricky. Closing up the balloon involves positioning a small circle of fabric at the very top of the envelope. To make this process easier, I will connect the final seam, but only for the first panel. This is about 60 centimeters tall, and so I can then reaccess the very top of the balloon. Once this is in place, I can then move down the final seam. The balloon is now effectively inside out, and all that's needed to be done is to turn it the right side out and work on the details at the mouth of the envelope. For my construction, the balloon has 20 gauze, but I only construct eight ropes attached to 16 load tape loops. There is also a Nomex panel of fire retardant material that sits around the mouth of the balloon. The loops are sewn onto the Nomex and the ropes tied onto the loops. This will help to connect the basket of the balloon to the envelope. This creates a wide enough gap in the flying wires for me to easily access the mouth of the balloon when I'm ready to put heat in during inflation. So now the balloon is pretty much finished and all we have to do is wait for weather to come. If you'd like to see how the results work out, follow the link 